It is one of the most beautiful places on earth. So stunning. I remember being in uh, Christchurch and it was windy and the air would pick up the smell of jasmine because there's so much jasmine around oh, there. Wow, it was beautiful. Amazing. So I'm going to use clear press on gel to, encap to begin to encapsulate the design. And then we're going to take our glitter and sandwich it in. And apply, apply, apply. Look at that, you guys. How beautiful that is. And the great thing about working with clear press-on gel is that you can position the glitter literally anywhere you want. And you don't have to cure it until you have it where you want, my love. So it gives you complete control. Okay, let's use this one. This is the pointer. Just for a few seconds. In the middle. And we're gonna repeat this to all five nails. Clear press on gel. Make sure you also apply enough clear press on gel to the inside so that way you have a really good canvas for the glitter to adhere to. Because if you do too little, then it kind of like it makes it harder to apply. Chapulines. Ooh, that's, that is a very um, regional kind of uh, uh, dish, not for everybody. Which glitter is this? This is tart, my love. Chapulinas, for those of you that don't know, are grasshoppers. grasshoppers. Well, I don't know about that. I did try when I was in Mexico City, um, ant larvae. Really? Yeah, because my cousin was like, oh, this is like Mexican caviar. And I was like, caviar? That sounds fancy, but uh, it was not. I didn't care for it. It was just a really gross texture. And warm. Ugh, it's just like it tastes like butter, and I was like, ugh. Maricela described it as crunchy, salty, spicy, and sour all the same time. Ew, but then like sometimes the legs can get stuck in your teeth. And you're like, oh, you got um, some chapulín right there. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. We'll think about it. I will keep you posted for next time, give you the update. What I tried and didn't try. And then the flowers in your hair, that looks so cool too. Like the crown. Yes, I am really excited. I have a whole crown with flowers. I have a whole get up that I'm going to wear. Is your mom really excited too? Or like she's like, oh, I've done this already. No, she's never done it either. Like, oh, this is the first time going yeah, to like it. Like yeah, it's her first time going to this. I think there's other people in the tour group that have gone to it before. Mm -hmm. So they're, you know, they said it's great. They're the vets. Is there an inspo pic we can see? Um, it was a video she showed me, but if you know anything about like Oaxacan or you can just like Google Oaxacan Mexican um, folk festivals, you'll kind of see like they use a lot of this pink, they use a lot of um, uh, stitched um, kind of flower like work, embroider, right? Mm -hmm. embroidered work. Um, are, the, are the shell pieces? Yes, it's real abalone. So we're using clear press on gel as our base to adhere all of this beautiful artwork. I really like this job. What, modeling? Like looking at your, uh, the comments. You know? It's fun, isn't it? And you know like what? It. it is not an easy thing to do because not everybody is made to be on the internet. Uh, Jessica said that their daughter is getting married on Friday. Oh my gosh, is she getting married in Oaxaca? I get my naturally long nails done tomorrow for the first time. How exciting. Because sometimes you can have a really boring model and it just makes a really long video. Like, it just makes the whole process very tedious and not fun. Well, I'm a wacky shenanigan, so it's all good. You have to, you know, you put, some people are like really fun or whatever, and then you put a camera on them and then they just freeze up. So, respect to you because it comes natural. Some people are like, oh, we're just reading the comments out loud. I'm like, oh, it's really hard for some people. I remember like in the early days of like live streaming, so I would tell some of the models like, were you one of those girls that would tell the teacher I'm too shy or something? Like, mm -hmm. I can't read. I got dyslexia. I am the shyest person in the world. You're like, oh, I can't read. I'm sorry, teacher. I don't talk to anybody. I don't like talking to strangers though. Like if you go to like a bar or a club and someone comes up to you, I'm like, why are you talking to me? Do I know you? Like, I will tell you, I will be at the most random places. Random. I make friends. And I will just be like, I'll give you an example. I was at Home Depot one time. Mm -hmm. And I was with one of my girlfriends there. And she was exchanging some something she bought. And it was Christmas time. And I um, 
I'm looking at all the Christmas lights and out of nowhere this lady comes and there's like there's hardly anybody there but she literally comes and stands right next to me mm -hmm. and she's looking at the Christmas lights and then she starts bawling and crying and telling me of like her personal problems and I'm looking at her like, like um, are you alone I was trying to get some Christmas lights like please don't talk to me you know or and then my friend you know that I was with she's like very introvert and the first thing she told me was like you'll be talking to people and i'm like dude they talk to me like i don't talk to anybody You're like this was not planned and then of course my friend walks up when this lady's like explaining her guts about everything she's like i told you not to be talking to people i'm like she just came up like i just i wasn't expecting to have a full-blown like therapy session with her people just come up and tell me the most random things or tell me their problems like, i pretend i don't speak english on planes oh, to avoid yeah. people because like i was nice once and that lady still messages me on Facebook. She's like, <laughs> hey, Max, you remember me? I sat next to you on that flight 10 years ago. And I was like, girl, I don't know. I, I literally, it was like a one hour flight and like she thinks we're best friends still. She's like, hey, mijo, do you remember me? And I was like, yes, I do. You don't let me forget you. <laughs> I'm very shy when I meet you. So now I just pretend I don't speak English. What if they start speaking Spanish? Uh, they'll be like, sorry, no Espanol. Do you speak in the Deutsch? Yeah, some people. Some people are or some people will automatically put their like headphones on and you know not to bother them. Yeah. Or I'm, AirPods I'm now. I'm one of those people, but like it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't care. Like, like people don't care. Like they just. Like, I actually have earpods and I don't know where they are. Good. We're using clear happy, uh, clear happy gel, eternal beige happy gel to encapsulate the inside. So we're going to use it to adhere the nail too. I like my cords. That's how old school I am because I knew that I would lose um, earpods. I actually I think they're underneath my desk. Right here. Yes. I'm like, I need my cordon, so that way it's easier for me to manage it. People try and talk to me at dialysis. I put my earbuds and listen to music. Yes. You're like, not today. I'm sorry. I need to focus on getting better. Maybe I just need to put some uh, earbuds in just life and life. Gym. But you'll be surprised who you can meet sometimes too, though. Like, what if like... Oh well, yeah, like I've met some pretty like funny, interesting people, you know, that I would have never like, you know, thought. Met? Yeah. Which is kind of funny too. Those are funny stories. One time, I think some, one time I was at the airport in San Francisco and I was going to, I think to Korea or somewhere. And this old dude came up to me and he's like, can I take a picture of you? And I was like, no. And he was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. And he had like his camera with like a real camera. And this was like maybe a few years ago. I think it was before the Rona. And he came up to me and he's like, can I take a picture of you? And I was like, no, sir, you cannot. How much money you got? <laughs> We're going to freeze it in place now. I should have asked him how much money he had. That was weird. Yeah, it made me a little uncomfortable too. I was like, why do you want to take a picture of me, sir? And he looked like a Chester. Wow. Yeah, you don't want him having your picture. No, I was like, what do you want? Why? And I was like, looking awful longo too. Like, I was like, no makeup on. Your hair's all greasy after being on a plane for 13 hours. Look how beautiful they look, you guys. Next is the pinky. And because Happy Gel does have a little bit longer of a polymerization process, I do flash cure it for a little bit longer, about 20 seconds. At least he did ask first, because if not, I would have like gone all security on him. Like, excuse me, sir, why are you violating? Yeah, that's true. Why are you violating my private space? Three, three, three. Okay, now we're gonna turn the hand upside down and with our vegan happy gel brush, we are going to smooth out the inside. Make sure there's no lumps or bumps. Really? It always happens, and I think it's because we already know what to do. So like, it's easier for me to just like, hit it out of the park with this one. Okay, and now I'm going to seal the inside. So whenever you use Happy Gel to apply one, two, three, go nails, you guys, and you're using any kind of glitter or anything encapsulated, it's really important to seal the inside of the nail. I'm just gonna do that today with Wonder Gel, which is our no wipe rubber gel top coat. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to smooth in the glitter. It's going to seal the free edge and make sure, like, for example, if any frijoles, if any chilaquiles get on the nail, it'll just slide right out. Any tips for a beginner? Uh, tips like, uh, what do you mean? Like to build up clientele or uh, for your work? Let me know specifically and then I can answer no, to fit her nail perfectly. So let's make sure the sides are nice and straight. It's like everybody and their mama is texting me right now. They're like, I want to get, I want to see you before you leave. Where is your cousin? Is she normal? See you already? Uh, no, she is, uh, pick and think. You are from Arizona. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, uh, my cousin is here. Um, she got here from Canada last night. Mm -hmm. And so she's hanging out with her family. Oh, okay. Yeah, Before she leaves tomorrow. So she's hanging out with her, her siblings and, and her, her people. So make sure those sides are nice and straight, you guys. Crisp, sharp, clean lines for a more beautiful phalange. And then I have my other cousin who's like texting me on the other side of the family and is like, hey, what are you doing right now? Getting my nails done. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting my nails done. I'm modeling and on OnlyFans. Like, what? They're like, uh, you want to go have dinner? I'm like, no, I have plans already. I have... Oh, I looked up also that nail salon you told me about for the that they did your pedicure that you really liked. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called like Bella Spa or something like something. that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What are you on your toes right now? Uh, just some like gold glitter polish. Oh, okay, so it can kind of match with what you have on your hands. Uh, kind of. I mean, my feet are a little trashed, but maybe you can get a pedicure while you're out there. Yeah, I was thinking about it because I wanted to go before I left, but um, I don't think I'm gonna have time. Get a pedicure for We're fifty pesos. Um, she lives in Euclid, which is on Vancouver Island. Oh, I've been there before. Euclid? No, to Vancouver, Vancouver Island. Vancouver Island, yeah. Ooh, that must have taken a long time Euclid to get here. Is, a, is like a, like a, a tiny, like, province. Like, it's a small, like, town. That's where, well, Pam Anderson's from Vancouver Island, but she's from Ladysmith. And she's over on the, like, west part of the island, like, mm -hmm. the other side of the island. So it takes her, like, a whole, it's like a whole trek to, like, get to Vancouver. Mm -hmm. So like she has to pretty much either like drive Plan it ahead. or take a bus from where she's at to where uh, the ferries are. Where the ferries are, like Nanaimo, mm -hmm. and then then boards the ferry. And so that drive is like a, a couple hours, right? An hour mm -hmm. or so or two. And then she has to board the ferry, and then the, the ferry itself is like another like two two and a half hours with the car. With the car or or as a passenger on the ferry, mm -hmm. right? And then they get to. When they get to Vancouver, dock in Vancouver, then they get off the ferry and then go to the airport. So like it's a whole like five hour like like just trip just for her to get to Vancouver. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then when So she if she goes to Vancouver, goes to Vancouver shopping, she probably has to spend the night just so that way yeah. they like, make the most out of it. Yeah. So Erin is from Toronto. Big shout out to Toronto. I have a cousin that was just recently moved to Toronto. Uh, what's going on with the love start tapping yes everybody tap tap, tap we're at 8,000 likes you guys we gotta get the 25s for the giveaway yesterday we had two giveaways i think we're so close when are you gonna see susie i don't know i don't know she doesn't really have that many collabs lately so i don't know when i'm gonna get to see her again i haven't seen her in a little while maybe two years two or three years but it does take a really long time from to get to vancouver island from tucson because you have to fly tucson to or Salt Lake. Yeah, and then like and went to Canada her. and then over to the island. Yep. I've gone to visit her like to where she lives like twice mm -hmm. and it was like a two day like trek. Oh, I remember it was Tucson to Denver, Denver to Calgary, Calgary to the island. Oh wow. I did the last time I went to see her, I did Tucson to Phoenix, mm -hmm. Phoenix to Vancouver, and then got the ferry to Nanaimo and then Nanaimo to where she lives. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yesterday you guys got 50k likes. Yeah, it was oh, impressive so yesterday. The girls were killing it yesterday. Come so on. now we're going to go in with the superstar drill bit. We're going to refine everything. Make sure there's no product stuck to the skin. Erin would love to meet you and Susie. I would love to meet you too. Come on down to Tucson. You should do some meet and greet. You're famous. I'm not. They want to meet you. Why would anybody want to meet me? Oh. I'm just the hand. You're the model. <laughs> You're the canvas. I'm just the painter. Beautiful. Look at that, you guys. 
Like they look like sculptor acrylic, and that's what I love about the one to go system. Thank you. You're gonna see um, Miss Juice. You're gonna be like, oh my god, you look like Beyonce. Yeah, right. Do <laughs> you carry all lengths and shapes for the full cover tip? We have over a hundred lengths and shapes styles that are pre-made already to like French and ombre. Uh, as far as I know, we have probably one of the biggest, if not the the biggest collection in the universe, my love. And they're all probably made here in America. JP Nayu wants to meet you, Max. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. I appreciate that. Where is your class here in New Zealand? When are you going there? Uh, next year. It'll be next year in, I want to say like May or June. Wait, you're going to New Zealand? Uh-huh. You need a model for New Zealand? Let's go, baby. <laughs> And I think it's probably going to be, um, of course, in Auckland. It's during a trade show going on in Auckland. So it'll be around that time. So now we're going in with the smoothie buffer. Smoothing everything out. It's a really cool small town. It's like a very clean, small New York, Auckland. And maybe we... I don't get at least 20k likes. I'm going to be really sad. She's going to be like, Max, I'm done with these TikTok girls. I guess I gotta up my game. I don't know what I gotta do. Come in with some pasties and some like spr Ooh. sparklers, sprinklers. I have two sons that work for two different airlines. I have their flight benefits and haven't left Phoenix. Oh my gosh, take what advantage are you of that. Doing? Do it. Especially because Phoenix has direct flights to Hawaii. Everywhere. I think London too. I would have been. And there's like way less expensive than flying out of super And you don't have to have 20,000 layovers. Ashwin Pop is available for modeling next year. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind, mama. Now we're going to remove the dust, check those sides, make sure it's nice and straight. Man, I feel like these lights are going to be a competition. Now it's getting serious, huh? Yeah, I'm a little sad. Come on, you guys. 25K, that's all we asked. Over 100 plus yesterday. What? Don't, we, don't the girls want to get away? I know you guys could do it. Who wants stuff? For free. What did you get to? 25K. Okay, you're almost done. I'm just letting you all know. Like, all we have to do now is just top coat the nail. Better get the mic going. Nobody's getting nothing. So I didn't know you were a fan of Timothy, Tim, uh, Timothy Chardonnay or whatever his last name is. I, I mean, I'm not a fan, but he just has a very captivating, like, presence. Like, his look. He looks like, like an old eyes. painting, huh? Like, he's just like, looks like the way he looks at people, looks like he just like... What about Ezra Miller? The Flash. Ashlyn won last night, but it still happened. Thank you. She's right or die right there. So now I'm cleansing the whole nail with a coat of acetone. He's the Flash. I didn't know he kidnapped somebody, allegedly. What? Yeah. But he also doesn't seem mentally that stable. Oh, we're at 12 now. It's okay. Come on, you guys. Let that air dry. And now we're going to hit the nail with Wonder Gel. How do you decide who wins? The model decides. I decide, but what I do is I kind of do like a roulette thing where I just like scroll down the comments and then stop and wherever it lands, that's who wins, to make it fair. And then if you have to live in America so that way we can mail it to you and you cannot have one within the last 30 days. Even though we do offer international shipping, unfortunately we're not going to um, send prizes internationally at this time, unless the post office goes down, which it doesn't. It actually went up again on Sunday which is crazy, but we did not raise our pricing though. Look at the shape of the nail, you guys. It is nothing nice. They are pretty. They are definitely one of my favorites, for sure. She is serving the Bougainvillea fantasy. Look at that. We're at 14. He's almost done. Come on, you guys. Do it. Do it. Tap, tap, tap. Nice, even long coats. And it sucks too, because all the places I want to go to are really hot and humid right now. Yeah. Whoops. Remember you guys, after the hand comes out of the lamp, it's really important to let the nails finish the polymerization process. So after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're gonna wait 10 seconds to hit the nail with cuticle oil. If you put oil on the nail too soon, it can cause dulling. Who is Nicole? No, she doesn't. She was a Cosmo, but she hated doing hair. 
She has to do mine, but she doesn't have a choice. And there you have it, you guys. Look at that encapsulated fantasy with the abalone and the glitter. Look how beautiful that is. And the shape. Oof. Look at it from the side. That cuticle is blended for the gods. Your cuticle oil smells so good. Thank it's you. Good. Thank Nikki. I met her at the strip club. She was shaking it with Amber Rose out in Philly at Delilah's Den. <laughs> so how many likes did we get to? We are at 920. Just we hit 20. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're so close! What was that, like, flashing in between? Did you see that? Yeah. That was strange. Is that a what beaver? Is that? It's like a beaver, it looked like. Is that like a, like a Pokemon or something? <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, there it is again! It looks like a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it come oh from? Oh my gosh! I swear, I did not press a beaver filter. How do you get rid of it? I think it's a beaver. Yeah. <laughs> that was that wild. Was crazy. Okay, I think it's time to end this video. There they are again. <laughs> they look like the hippos from uh, Fantasia. Oh my goodness. Well, my loves, unfortunately, we didn't get to get to the.